We've come to the end of the Advent season in which we have lit candles to remind us of people who waited for the coming of Jesus. And today we light the central candle, the white candle, which is symbolic of the presence of our Lord Jesus in our midst. I wish you all a, a very happy Christmas in whatever circumstances you find yourself. And here are some people you know who are going to send you their own personal greetings. On behalf of the Kirk Session, may I wish you, those you are with, and those you are missing this Christmas, a very happy Christmas. On behalf of the Congregational Board, I wish you and yours a very happy and a peaceful Christmas. On behalf of the Guild Committee, I would like to take this chance to wish a very happy Christmas to all our members, to other members of the congregation, and to other folk who are watching from elsewhere this morning. The Men's Association are pleased to pass Christmas blessings to each other and to all members of St Paul's congregation at this very strange time of 2020. Merry Christmas! A very happy Christmas to the members of the choir, to the praise band, and to the members of the badminton club, and to the congregation. And I hope you're all in good spirits and staying safe. On behalf of Breakaway at St Paul's, I send Christmas greetings to all our members, their loved ones, and our wonderful befrienders. We are going through challenging times just now, but we are people of hope. And as we celebrate Christmas in a different way this year, let us rejoice in the coming of the Messiah, our Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. And may Zephaniah's uplifting words of praise fill you with hope this Christmas and into the new year. The Lord our God in our midst is a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over us with gladness. He will quiet us by his love. And he will exalt over us with loud singing. Amen and God bless. friends that I'm wearing my Christmas jumper this morning. For a long, long time, I didn't have a, a Christmas jumper. But this was given to me by someone very special. The folk from Bulderna in St. Paul's 
will remember Lindsay Brennan, who was with us as part of her training for the ministry. Lindsay now has her own parish in Dundonald in, in Ayrshire, and we have news that things are going very well there. But she heard a couple of years ago that I didn't have a, a Christmas jumper, and she thought that was something that she was going to sort out. And so here I am with, um, you know, looking like a, an elf, but not your common or garden elf, not just any ordinary elf. If I turn around, you can see that I am the head elf, and uh, that'll amuse one or two folk, I'm, I'm quite sure. But you know, the nice thing about my, my jumper is that whenever I bring it out in the years to come, it's not just a reminder that Christmas is coming, but I'll remember Lindsay and her kindness to me and all the great things that she did when she was amongst our two congregations. But Christmas is a, is a time for remembering, isn't it? You know, it's a time for remembering good Christmases in the past, for remembering people that we, we can't be with for, for many reasons. And of course, this particular Christmas is a challenge to us all in the sense that it's a, a Christmas like never before, a Christmas that we'll always remember because we can't do the things that we would normally want to do. There will be no visits to the, the cinema to see the Christmas movies. There'll be no visits to the theater to see the, the panto. We won't perhaps have as many people as we would like for our Christmas dinner. And there might not be so many opportunities for us to have friends around for, for coffee and mince pies. This will be a Christmas as never before because of the global pandemic and the restrictions that we all have to, to bear in mind. But, you know, I think it is still possible for us to make the most of what we have in this time. I mean, I'm quite sure that uh, it's a wonderful life and uh, the Muppet Christmas Carol will be showing on, on one of your channels. That's if you don't have the DVDs, of course, which, which, which I have. And when I'm walking around the, the community, I'm seeing lights shining in homes which speak of, of life. And there are so many different things which will enable us to celebrate our Lord's birth, despite the circumstances that we're all having to share at this time. You know, Jesus, in his coming to this earth, is said to have made a difference. And that's an understatement. You know, that was the, the most important event that has ever happened in the world. The coming of the, the Son of God into our midst. He was going to address the central problem of, of humankind, die for our sins, and show us a, a way of life that would lead to a better quality of existence, especially for those in need. The hymn writer says, he was born to raise the sons of earth, born to give them second birth, to make that radical difference to our lives. And it is the, the call of those who follow the Lord Jesus Christ to join him, to join him, to, to be pl so plunged into his spirit that we in our lives are making a difference. You know, another Christmas hymn says, love came down at Christmas. You know, the love of God which was seen in our Lord Jesus Christ came to us at that time. And it is Jesus' call to each and every one of us to take that same love into every area of our lives, especially where there is particular need. That's the, the real challenge 
of the moment. When, when people are, are looking for, for hope, when they're looking for a means to strengthen themselves within themselves, we can speak of the love of Jesus and we can also show the love of Jesus to those who might be struggling. That's the, the most important thing about this time. I'm really on a roll just now with Christmas hymns, aren't I? You know, but there's another one which is called O Little Town of Bethlehem, written by a, a very famous minister in America. And you remember the line, So holy child of Bethlehem, descend on us, we pray, cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. Yeah, people have been talking about Christmas being cancelled. Yeah, you can cancel Christmas, but what you cannot do is cancel the love of our, love Jesus, of our, of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shown in his coming amongst us, and which we are told we can continue in our lives in this moment. The Apostle Paul says there's nothing in all creation that will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that has been shown in our Lord Jesus Christ. Christmas may be cancelled. The love of God can never be cancelled. That's what we celebrate today. And I hope that however you're celebrating Christmas in your, in your homes or elsewhere, that you'll know something of this love. May God bless you all.